Hello everyone, I'm Storm Tracker ET Meteorologist Austin Haskins. We've been dealing with the warm, sunny and kind of hazy weather around for the last several days and mostly been dry as well outside of that little bit of rain we had back on Tuesday. And that'll continue for today and Friday. A lot of sunshine and warm weather, hazy conditions for today, but we're going to be trending better into tomorrow in terms of the haziness kind of finally going away, at least for the day tomorrow. It could be a little bit longer than that, but uh, we'll watch trends, of course. For the weekend, slight chance of showers on Saturday with more cloud cover. Sunday will be the sunnier day of the weekend. It'll be warm and muggy, and we'll stay warm and muggy to even humid into next week with a mix of clouds and sun and basically minimal rain chances. Rain chances after Saturday are about 10 to 20 percent or less. So this stretch of dry weather that we've been in so far this month of September is going to continue outside of that small rain chance on Saturday. So we're still going to deal with some uh, thicker uh, smoke in the upper levels today. So we're in that yellow to orange category. So it will still be hazy today, but again, no impacts at the surface. Then as we head to tonight and tomorrow, notice how we lose not only the yellows and the oranges and reds, but we even lose the greens. So now we're back into that medium category, so there'll be some. But then we get into that low category as we head into Friday afternoon and Friday night. So we'll finally get at least a small break from that haze that we've been seeing the last few days. They may see a little bit Saturday and Sunday, depending on what happens with a cold front out to the west. But for the most part, we'll at least for tomorrow and tomorrow night get a break from those hazy conditions. But after that, of course, we'll watch the trends. We're also watching those higher dew points set to return. So the last several days we've been down mostly in the 50s. So that pleasant to noticeable category today and tomorrow. It'll be right around 60 on either side. So not too bad and 60 is kind of that the line we use determining between comfortable and uncomfortable. So it'll be right right on that line. But as you see, as we head into the weekend and early next week, those dew points are going to jump back up into the mid 60s. So it's going to start to feel a little more sticky across the region. And also temperatures will still be in the 80s. So it's going to definitely feel like summer. Now look at the big picture. We have an area of low pressure to the west and a cold front and a warm front up to the north. That was a cold front yesterday. That's kind of uh, retrograding back to the north. That system is going to miss us to the northwest as it follows the ridge in the jet stream, which is solidly over our region. We're also watching Francine that made landfall yesterday in Louisiana as a category two hurricane. It'll become a remnant low and eventually weaken into tomorrow. But with a southeasterly flow, and it, at least within proximity of us, it'll be down towards Memphis and St. Louis and Nashville. We'll get some clouds from the remnants of Francine and enough moisture around to squeeze out at least a couple of scattered showers very late Friday night, more so after midnight and into the day on Saturday. Not everyone's going to see rain, but there will be a few showers around, maybe a clap of thunder or two. And then into Saturday night, we're looking at a partly cloudy sky with maybe a stray shower or rumble of thunder, at least before the midnight time frame. And rain chances the next seven days, that's really our best chances overnight tomorrow through Saturday evening. And then not really anything beyond that, maybe a slight 20% chance Monday night. But other than that, we're going to stay dry for quite a while with no meaningful rain chances in the forecast, at least for the next seven days. Now, beyond that, we could maybe start to see those rain chances pick up at least a little bit. The longer term outlooks have been kind of suggesting that that would be towards next weekend. Rain the next five days for totals, not much. And a lot of what falls Saturday will probably be what we saw back on Tuesday. Those that see rain, a couple hundredths of an inch, maybe up to about a tenth of an inch or so at the very most. Highs today back into the mid 80s once again, lower 80s north and east with that sunshine. But again, that haze, like it did yesterday a little bit, could limit temperatures by a degree or two from what the forecast is. But nonetheless, it's still going to be warm. And then tonight, we're back into the 50s once again with those clear skies, a few clouds down to the south. Highs tomorrow, back low to mid 80s once again. So once again, we're going to be about 10 degrees above average. Now on Saturday, temperatures do come down a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. We'll be upper 70s and low 80s. It'll be a little more humid as well as those dew points get back into the low 60s. But we warm right back up into the mid 80s following Saturday. We're right around that 82, 83 degree range, 84 on Sunday with those overnight lows in the low 60s. So warm and as I mentioned, kind of turning humid once again. And beyond the seven day forecast, this runs from the 19th through 25th of September, looking still pretty likely we're going to see above average temperatures and precipitation trending a little bit above average as well.